research has been going on in Kejimkujik for about as long as Kejimkujik has been here. Uh, it started uh, in 1969, Kejimkujik was declared a, a national park, and we've had uh, various research projects going on since that time. We have research on blanding turtles, fish, uh, fish tracking, fish populations. We have uh, measurements for water temperature, air temperature, uh, maps, atmospheric measurements, and long-range pollutants. As we get uh, new information and new uh, questions arise, we monitor different things. So we went on the, on the river with a sound called the YSI that give instant information about pH, water temperature, oxygen. So that's all information that we put together to have a better, uh, to a better image, better picture of the water quality of lakes and river in the parks. Uh, these are Blanding turtles. They're an endangered species here in Nova Scotia. And, uh, we have a really in-depth volunteer program, so this year we just celebrated over 10,000 volunteer hours uh, for people helping out species at risk and other volunteer projects here at Ketchum National Park. And where the hatchlings are the size of a $2 coin, being able to, uh, to pinpoint them, and they just love bogging down into this, these thick sphagnum mats, so using the, uh, the paddle allows us to really pinpoint exactly where they are. So we actually train our volunteers to be researchers. Uh, we have teams of volunteers that will go out with radio tracking equipment. Um, they'll monitor turtle movement. They'll monitor nesting movements in the spring. They'll monitor the nests again in the fall and track um, baby turtles, little hatching turtles as they emerge from the nests. All of that data gets collected in um, a really specified data kit. Um, it's all standardized data collection and it all goes into a database. We have a 20-year database now for the Blanding's turtle and that, that information helps the Blanding's turtle recovery team to make decisions that uh, help them to recover eventually the species. They go up the brooks to overwinter and basically they come down to the lake shore to nest and they seem to feed uh, extensively in these bays along the shore of the lake. Uh, present broadband comes in uh, completely wireless from the end of the fiber optic line in Baker Settlement, goes through uh, radio towers from Baker Settlement through to Caledonia, then finally to Keji. Rather than digging everything up and running cables, uh, if you notice coming down through the park, you don't see power lines, you don't see phone lines. Uh, they just don't exist. So rather than putting up all these messy wires, we go to a single place and then put it wireless from there. High-speed internet here is really important. It allows us to communicate with our volunteers and it allows the information to be sent to various different universities. There are a lot of students at uh, Acadia University and there are students also at Dalhousie University. We're also partnering with uh, Nova Scotia Community College and their technology programs. They're actually helping us to design and develop new technologies that we can use. So being able to communicate with them and share information is really, really important. Usually when we finish report, we, we try to, you know, to diffuse the information, to, to, to let know people what we are doing. And sometimes you have a, some specialist, specialized people who are working far away, but you want to have their point of view and to discuss issues with them. So it's always great to give ac instant access to different people who work on the same kind of job. The last three years running, we average between uh, 85 and 120 different uh, researchers here and then uh, we also have helping them out because the public is also very interested in our research program here we have upwards of 120 volunteers as well so the amount of data they collect and the amount of data that they transfer for back and forth is huge in pencil and paper type language you're talking books and books and books so that broadband makes it easy makes it quick and makes it so that uh, you're doing it real time. You're not waiting for the mail or the Pony Express to take your book from here to Halifax.